that you're here with us today. Jesus loves you and so do we. And that's why we're here for you. That's right. So we have a fun new game to play today. So check this out.
Welcome to the Bible Detective Center of Investigations. So the pastors are still preaching on having the heart of Jesus, and today we're talking about compassion. That's right. Our mystery today is to find out what compassion is, how we get it, and what we do with it once we have it. Nice. So let's jump right into the dictionary definition. Um, so the smart people at Oxford Company say that compassion is sympathetic pity and concern for the sufferings or misfortunes of others. Hmm. There's a lot of big words in there. That's right. So I did find another way of explaining it somewhere else. Is okay. this one better? Compassion is when you notice another person or animal in need and you have concern for them that you want to show. So compassion can include a number of components, feeling in your heart for others, mm -hmm. understanding and caring about the feelings of others, understanding what others need or want, and wanting to do something that might help. That, that's a little easier to understand, I think. Does that make sense to you? Okay, why don't we look at some verses that talk about Jesus and compassion and see what we can learn from that. That's a good idea. So in Luke 7... Jesus comes across a funeral procession and a sad woman whose son has just died. It says, when the Lord saw her, he felt compassion for her and said to her, do not weep. And then he made her son come back alive again. That's so awesome. So listen to what it says before Jesus did the miracle when he fed the 5,000 people. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, and Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I feel compassion for the people because they have remained with me for three days now and I, they have nothing to eat and I do not want to send them away hungry for they might faint on the way. Hmm. Okay, so to know if someone needs compassion, we look for clues. We look like their emotions because we can kind of tell if they need something by how we see that they're feeling. We show compassion by saying and doing things to show others that we care. Compassion is when you see someone in need care about their feelings, and do something to show that you care. And that's what Jesus did in the examples that we just read. He saw people, he noticed and cared about how they were feeling, and then he did something about it. Right, so part of the mystery is how to get compassion. Mm. It sounds like first we have to practice noticing people and how they feel. And another big part of it, I think, must be choosing to spend time with Jesus. Because the more we spend time with him, the more our hearts are going to care about the same things as he does. So I think compassion especially will grow as we grow closer to him. Right. So we'll start to notice people more and we'll start to care about how they're feeling. Exactly. So the last part of our mystery is what to do with it once we have it. And the key to that is what do we do with it? Right, that's right. So compassion is not seeing someone in need and caring about their feelings. That could maybe be sympathy. Mm -hmm. Compassion is what takes it to the next step and says or does something to help. Right. I think we've pretty much solved our mystery, but you know what? What? Proverbs eleven twenty five says, whoever brings blessing will be enriched and the one who waters will himself be watered. When a person is kind to another person, it's not just the one who was helped that gets the benefits. The one who did the helping is blessed too. That's great. So let's recap and see if we solved this mystery. Okay. So we were trying to figure out what compassion is. So noticing when others are hurting, caring about how they feel, and doing something to make it better. Right. Okay. And then also um, how to get it. Spend lots of time with Jesus. And then the third part was what to do with it once we have it. Use it. Mystery solved. For our first breakout today, we want to practice having compassion. Do you guys know the story of the Good Samaritan? Oh yeah, that's a great example of someone with compassion. So what happened, this is a story that Jesus told. So it didn't actually really happen in real life, but Jesus wanted to teach his people followers about what it meant to be a neighbor and have compassion on people. So in the story, this one man is going on a journey. He's going from one town to another. And while he was going, some robbers came out and jumped on him and took all his money and all the things he had that were valuable. And they beat him up and left him half dead on the side of the road. Now, another man came along the same road and he saw him, but he went on the other side of the road and just kept going. And that happened another time with another man. 
But then a third man came along and he saw him and he had compassion on him and he felt bad for him. And so he stopped to help him. Right. So now what we want you to understand is that it's not always easy to have compassion. This man who stopped to help, he probably was on his way somewhere. So his plans had to change. He actually bandaged him up and so he cleaned his injuries and that would have been probably a little messy. And maybe even a little bit gross. <laughs> and then he took him to an inn to stay until he was better and that cost him some money. That's right. So if we have compassion, it might make us change our plans. It might get messy. It might cost us something. But you know what? It's still worth it. That's right. So how we're going to practice this is once you're done here, we want you to go get an ice cube and you're going to hold it in your hand and you're probably going to need a towel too. Um, so you're going to hold it in your hand and listen to someone else in your family share with you one thing that they're worried about at school or at home. Right. So we want you to pay attention to how you're feeling. Is it hard to focus on someone else's problems and give them your attention when you've got that ice freezing your hand and distracting you? Um, does it take a lot of work to notice and care? Probably, but compassion is always worth it, even when it's hard. Because Jesus was compassionate, and we are trying to live our lives in the same heart, with the same heart that he had. That's right. So don't forget, you want to ask them, what is something that you're worried about at home or at school? And then try and give them your full attention while you're holding that ice. And think about, you know what? It's worth it to have compassion, even if it costs me something, and even if I've got other distractions. Okay, so for our second breakout, we are going to practice compassion in a bit of a different way. So in the notes for this week, you can find those on our website where you found the video. It says Kidstown Resources. So if you click on there, um, there's a page of care cards that you can print out. Now, I remember when I was living away from home at Bible school, one hallway of the building had a big, long row of student mailboxes. And there was always a stack of care cards on the counter nearby so people could write notes to their friends and just leave them in their mailboxes. Oh, that's so fun. We had that too at the school that I went to. So on the first sheet of the notes, there are some sample ideas of what you could write about. But I know that you'd be able to come up with great words on your own too. God will let you know what to write to people. So you'll need to print this page of cards out and cut it out. But you know what? If you've got paper at home, you could just use that too and decorate it yourself. You don't really have to print out the ones that we made. That's right. That would be extra special. Um, so start the first step that we talked about in our lesson today. So see someone. We can do that by asking God to bring us to our mind someone that needs a kind, caring note today. What could you write to show them that you care? I bet there's some people out there that are going to be really blessed and encouraged by the notes that you take time to write today. That's it for another episode of Kids Town Online. Thank you so much for joining us. If you did either of the breakouts along with us, let us know. It's so encouraging to know that you are watching and participating. That's right. A quick text or email saying, I was at Kids Town today would make our day. That's right. So may your hearts be softened this week to see people and how they are hurting. May you truly care for others. And may you know the words to say and what to do to show compassion. When you do that, God is using you to change the world. See you next week. Whoa!